this video we'll be checking out the TV towers that you can see in the distance first and then we're going to be checking out Dobbins lookout point. Another thing too if you didn't know is you can rent a horse and go horseback riding too. They have a Ponderosa stables at the front of the park before you end, hit the entrance so you, if you want a horseback ride I suggest you check that out as well. To the right over here there's a trailhead I believe. I'm not sure which one it is but uh, you can just park right there and hit the trail. Another interesting piece of history that I didn't know that old timers have told me that in the 70s and I believe the 80s as well you could off-road over here. But since that has been stopped to preserve the natural environment and habitat of the park. South Mountain is also known for its large chakwala population with an average of 65 chakwalas per hectare. Also please drive responsibly and follow the speed limit as there are plenty of hikers, pedestrians, visitors from out of town and from Arizona here every day as well as most motorcyclists and cyclists on the road. So please share the road and stay safe out there. <laughs> Another thing, it's approximately five miles to get to the top of South Mountain to the Dobbins Lookout or the TV Towers, which is approximately 15 to 30 minutes of drive time. So we're almost there guys. Just up ahead we'll be getting to the TV Towers Gila Valley Lookout Point. Alright right here you're going to take a right to go to TV Towers. And if you want to go to the Dobbins Lookout you're going to take a left. So we'll check that out later. Right now we're going to TV Towers. So we're almost there folks, after right here you're going to take another right to get to the TV Towers and the Gila Valley Lookout, so let's check it out. So yeah, little known fact is the TV Towers were actually began as radio towers in the 40s. It wasn't until the 50s when most radio stations and TV stations began putting up towers. So over here, uh, if you get over this hill, is the Gila Valley Lookout. So when you drive up this road to get to the Gila Valley Lookout, it's on the left hand side. Unfortunately, it's closed until late spring of 2023, but you can still see the TV towers on the right. So I decided to fly my drone up so you guys could get a look for yourselves. And this is how it looks like up there. Basically, you can see uh, the Gila, Gila River Reservation, Chandler, and the Desert Foothills from the lookout point. And then, uh, on the right hand side, the TV towers, there are 31 structures, 23 of which relate to TV and radio. And the cool thing about these towers, if you ever come to Phoenix, if you look in the night sky, you can see all the red lights and it acts as a directional tool. So if you ever get lost, just know that's south because it's in the south mountain. So that'll help you out if you ever get lost. So now we're going back to the main road to head to check out Dobbins Lookout Point. And this one is the one of the more popular points in the whole 
mountain, so let's check it out. Get the Dobbins look out. This is where you can see all the Phoenix up here. TV towers over there, see it? So, Dobbins Lookout never gets old. Every time I come up here, it's amazing. Any time of the day, nighttime, sunset, sunrise, this is a place to be if you're in Phoenix. So this is truly one of my favorite spots is to come up and unwind because you can see all of Phoenix almost pretty much. You can see downtown, Tempe, Scottsdale, Paradise Valley, parts of Mesa, West Valley area. So it's just nice to come up here and you know take everything in and then you realize how 